Christmas can be a very lonely time for a lot of people, especially people in the elderly community. But we've got a great Coombe story. Dean Secondary School. This is such yeah, a lovely story. Down lovely there story. in Plymouth, my hometown, uh, they are really trying to make a difference. So what they've done is, and I think it's a great idea, and it's the way all schools maybe should operate as like community centres. They have decided. School dinners aren't just for the kids who go to the school. So let's go live by satellite to Plymouth uh, to our reporter there, Kate Haskell. And Kate will tell you more. Who's coming to lunch, Kate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Indeed, guys, if you're looking for a heartwarming story this cold Friday morning, then this is for you. Many of us, as you were saying, do understand or empathise or even experience that overwhelming feeling of loneliness, particularly when you live your own at any age, but especially for the elderly and also at this time of year. Now, as you said, I'm at Coombe Dean School near Plymouth and for the last 25 years, actually, they've been inviting the elderly in the community in for school dinners, have a hot lunch, have a bit of a natter with the students. And it's good to know that people have got your back and they're looking out for you. I'm one of those people that's really appreciated what the school has done is Cyril Agate. Let me introduce you to this lovely gentleman. We've been having a fantastic chat today, haven't we? Now, you and your wife, Shirley, used to come here for many years, oh, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. And then, very sadly, about six years ago, Shirley passed, passed away. away yeah. Such a tough time for you. Tell me what life was like for you back then. Well, you lose your partner and, uh, you know, you, you sort of sink into... Uh, you know, just want to be away. I was away. I was away for about a month, I suppose, maybe, you know, eight, six weeks. and. Started getting that on my scooter again, come down for lunches and... Because they uh, missed you, didn't they? I mean, I know you, you were saying earlier, you've got a lovely family around you. Yeah. But they've got busy lives as well. Exactly, and, yeah. And you suddenly realised that the, the school were knocking on your door. Tell me how, what happened. What, what, so what, when they knocked on the door, they were like, you know, where have you been, Sarah? Well, I, I had a couple of ladies come up, you know, wanting to know if I was all right. And, you know, when you want to come down to school, I thought, well, you know... Maybe in a couple of days, and after that, I started coming down to school again for lunches. It's so thoughtful that they, they've missed yeah, you, isn't well, it? I, yeah, I'd yeah. like to bring in Richard Woodland, the head teacher of Morning. the school. This is just such a lovely idea. Um, when did you sort of first realise that, you know, one of your regulars hadn't, hadn't been turning up? Yeah, so we'd, we'd known Cyril, as you said, for many years, and we just noticed that he wasn't there. Some of the other uh, residents were around. We got word that Shirley, unfortunately, passed away, and we'd known Shirley for years as well. And we lay, left it a week or two, and we thought, no, we're not. Not, we're not going to do this. And as Cyril said, two of my uh, canteen ladies walked up the road, knocked on the door, and said, Cyril, we miss you. We want to come down. Is there anything we can do to help? And uh, you say Cyril's here, has been a regular here now ever since. And uh, it's really nice. And it's such a mutual benefit for the kids as well, isn't it? Absolutely. So it's, it's great for them to talk and to And it's Cyril. made a huge difference to you now. Oh, Life is very different. Oh, yeah. Now, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'd come down here. Yeah, I just really told the children to start laughing. It's noise. It's been a noise. I have to say, it smells quite good. I think I might stay for lunch. Table for two this lunchtime? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Champagne as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Cyril. Oh, lovely. Kate, um... thank you very much indeed. And well done to head teacher Richard uh, <laughs> Woodland as well. All the pupils who yeah. spend time with the people that come in for lunch. It's absolutely lovely. We love that. Lovely. love that. That's what about, you see, Christmas, Christmas season's about caring and sharing and it's about Yes, people. except what you, you know, you've got to remember, they've been doing this for 25 years yes. and they don't just do it at Christmas. I mean, it's a lovely thing to I do at that, Christmas. I know that, I was just forming the, I was no, forming I'm just saying, I was, when I heard this I story at first, yes. I thought it was just for Christmas, one of those Christmas things. They do that all yeah. the time. I think it's a lovely thing to do. I think it is. I do. I agree with you. I wonder who else does it. If you do it or you know someone else that does it at a school in your community, please do let us know.